This week on Ask an Expert, International Relations. Welcome to Ask an Expert, the show where you submit questions to be answered by people around the school. I'm your host, Kieran Len Wong. This week on Ask an Expert, our question is, what's going on between U.S. and Iran? Here to answer our question is Sanjana Briglal, a member of Carleton's Model United Nations Club. Welcome. Can you help us answer this question? Yeah, so um, the U.S. and Iran, they've actually been in conflict for many, many <laughs> years now. But the main event that kind of sparked this, oh my god, there's going to be a World War III, I'm going to get drafted thing, um, was the assassination of uh, General Soleimani. Um, so there were a few events that led up to that. So the U.S., they called um, the, um, a branch of the Iranian military um, a terrorist organization, yes. and that really upset them. So they, the Iranians, they shot down a drone from the U.S., and then um, the Iranian protesters, they also they, um, invaded the U.S. embassy in Iran. So all of that kind of accumulated, and as tensions started to rise, um, the U.S., took action and they sent um, a drone strike and assassinated General Soleimani. Now this all unraveled and would you say that killing Soleimani uh, was justified by the United States? Oh that's a very complex question. Um, Soleimani he is He's a, a very important general in Iran, and he's this military, he's like a genius, you know? He's playing the game of chess, yeah. so you definitely don't want him as your enemy. Yeah. So that's why he, why the U.S. killed him, but um, whether it's justified, I don't know. So now here's the big question. Do you think World War III is coming? <laughs> no, probably not. There definitely will be um, some more conflict, but I don't think there'll be a war in the size of, you know, the Adolf previous, Hitler yeah. rising up or anything like that. Yeah, okay. that's not unlikely. It's not going to be a whole huge, like, global war. Um, but there's definitely more conflict to come, I think. Now, obviously, well, I don't believe that Iran or United States have fully healed from either attacks. So what do you think w would happen for there to be spark more tension and cause a war? Oh, um, well, I think because there's already, you know, kind of like a proxy war going on there. So I think that would just like keep on going. The only way, I mean, there could be like a cyber war that could be possible. Um, but I think something like really big would have to happen for that. And then um, a lot of people bring up the possibility of a nuclear war. However, that's not no. very likely. Okay. Well, going off of that nuclear, uh, Iran has speculated that they could make a nuclear bomb in three to five months. Do you think that is possible? And if it is, how would it affect Canada? Um, well, I don't think that there will be a nuclear war because when we compare the U.S. and their nuclear power versus Iran and their nuclear power, um, the U.S. definitely has more, and I don't think Iran could compete. No. Um, let Off the basis that they do have a nuclear weapon, what countries do you think would be highly affected by a nuclear weapon owned by Iran? Um, well, since... U.S. is one of their main, you know, enemies, and Canada is so close to the U.S. Um, it, within this conflict, Canada is definitely going to feel some sort of consequences of whatever, you know, whether it's nuclear or like um, a cyber war, they're going to feel consequences. Now, Canada and America are obviously very close as we're neighbors. Um, if a war did spark between the United States and Iran, do you think, well, how do you think Canada would respond? Oh, you mean like whether we would like join? Yeah, and like what type of support and how do you think we would try and handle it? 
Oh, well, um, I'm not too sure because um, Canada has already felt some of the consequences of this war um, because the Iran, they accidentally shot down a Ukrainian um, airline, civilian airline, a plane. And on that ship, on that plane was 57 Canadians and they lost their lives. So, yeah, we will feel the consequences. And I'm not too sure if um, how we or if we will participate in it. Now, if you were a Canadian or American politician, what would you to what would you do to try and prevent any more tension from occurring? Um, well, you would have to be like one of the really high up um, politicians, like the Secretary of State in the U.S. or like the President. Um, but a lot of the politicians who are really high up, some of them do want the war. Mm -hmm. And because it, the war can be a very profitable business. But I think um, the most important thing for just most everyday people is just to be educated on how the war started, and what's going on, and um, really to see both sides clearly. Well, thank you for sharing your knowledge with us, and thank you for answering the question. Thank you. That it, that's it for this week's Ask an Expert, but we're always looking for new questions. Tweet them at, at Pia Carlton with the hashtag Ask an Expert, and we'll find someone who can answer them for you. See you next week.